Well, hello there, everybody. Today, we're gonna be packing for our vacation in the mountains. So let's get started. <gasps> I broke it. First things first, I think I probably need a suitcase. So we have this awesome carry-on suitcase from Rome Luggage, and inside I already have my toiletry bag all ready to go. So, we'll set this to the side, and now it's time to grab our outfit pieces from the closet. We're keeping everything very casual since this is a vacation, so uh, it's going to be pretty much t-shirts and jeans the whole time. Let's grab. Well, hello, we're now in the office because I'm gonna try on every single outfit for you. <laughs> yeah, so I'm only bringing two pairs of shoes. First being the Birkenstocks, of course, and then these beautiful Sketcher creations that I'm basically gonna force every single outfit to go with, whether it does or not, because they're my favorite shoes. <laughs> so um, we're just gonna toss those over there and make the biggest boom possible. And um, let's just get to trying on outfits, shall we? Okay, first outfit. Shirt and shorts both from Walmart. Yes, it is fall. Yes, it should be cold, but I live in the south, so it's not. It's like 80 something degrees outside right now, so driving up to the mountains of Tennessee in this. Outfit number two. Outfit number two, also from Walmart. This is my attempt to grab hold of any bit of fall that I can find. Very light sweatshirt and jeans, but please know this is a vacation, so I'm probably going to be spending 90% of the time in sweatpants, but uh, this is the ideal outfit. <laughs> Do I need to say it or do you think you can figure out where this outfit's from? These jeggings from Walmart, I'll have everything linked below, but they're so comfy. They feel like denim, but they're stretchy and so good, and these sweatshirts are so soft. And we already washed them and it doesn't lose its softness, so highly recommend. Next outfit. Okay, a piece that's not from Walmart. This is from Crack Barrel. Super cute. You're also probably catching on to the fact that I'm not a fashionista by any stretch of the imagination. This trip, I will not be bringing makeup or jewelry, so these little dangly earrings will not be a part of the experience. But that's okay because it's vacation. Yes. Next outfit. Not much to say about it. It's the same sweatshirt I have in two other colors, so we'll just move on. Then I have two t-shirts I'm bringing just in case. Another pair of Walmart shorts and this t-shirt from Key West. And my favorite t-shirt, this green tie-dye one from Babyland, if you haven't seen that video. I'll link it because it's pretty funny and very popular. People love the Babyland video. And just in case, I'm also bringing this cute little denim jacket from Carnaby Square in Fairfield, Illinois for added warmth if necessary, but probably not, and aesthetic if I so feel like it, which again, probably not, but that's it for the outfit portion. So let's go ahead and pack this stuff. What do you say? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Now it's time to pack. So um, here we go. Ta-da. So all I have in here is my clothes, my shoes will go in my toiletry bag, which is right here, and any other miscellaneous items. So my blow dryer, all that will go in here. I have that freedom since this is a road trip, but I still rolled my clothes not as tight as I normally would. I just didn't really have a space constraint this time around. And I will link the suitcase in the description box. We have a $50 off coupon code for you, which is pretty cool. This suitcase has been around the world. We've taken it on airplanes, on trains, buses, and cars, and it's held up really nicely, and it's a lot bigger than it looks. So I think the most that's been packed in here is like a little over two weeks, like two and a half weeks worth of stuff only in this, which is pretty good, I would say. 
And I have quite a lot in it now, but I could fit so much more if I would have rolled everything tighter. I just didn't spend the time to do that. But we're gonna see how hard it is to close this. Sometimes it's a little tough, but that's okay. Just keep at it, persevere. And another fun feature about this lovely carry-on, it's international dimensions approved, so it can be international carry-on. And it's waterproof, even the zippers which is why when you first get it, it's really hard to zip it up. It's only because it's protecting everything inside of it. So, see this looks alarming, but don't be scared. <laughs> Not that you are. <laughs> Blah, that wasn't even hard. Another fun thing about Rome is you can customize it. So I picked all these colors out from the shell. I picked this dark blue this light blue. You can customize the wheels, the handle, everything. Oh, and it has mm, my monogram right here. So that's pretty cool. And uh, it's just a really good suitcase. I will have the $50 off coupon linked in the description box. Just click the link and it's good for anything on the Rome website. They have these super cute mini suitcases now. They're like little toiletry things. I'm fighting the urge to get one because I really don't need it, but it's just so cute. But anyway, that's that's my tangent at Rome. Now let's move on to what equipment I'm gonna be bringing, shall we? Let's go. Well, hello there. Hi, howdy. We are now in the office so I can show you the technology I'm bringing on this trip. It is a vacation, so I would, I was gonna say I would call this pared down, but now that I'm looking at it, it might not be, but the difference is we don't have a schedule or necessarily a plan. We're going to have fun. I just kind of want to make a little short film. Johnny B and I had that idea to make a little vacation short film and the mountains are going to be so pretty. We're going to be in Tennessee and it's going to be gorgeous. So we have to bring equipment. So I will be bringing what I'm shooting on right now, which is the Canon 70D. It's not the newest model, but it works. It has been a faithful friend. And I have on it the Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter lens. Highly recommend. And I'm also bringing the Sigma 35 Art. Have some shots in mind this will be perfect for. However, if I only travel with one lens, which sometimes I do, I will bring the 10 to 20. It is a lot more versatile than it seems and it just takes such crispy video. I love it. Also bringing the vlog camera, the trusty Canon G7X Mark II. I think every YouTuber and vlogger in all of history has this camera. It really is great. The little flip up screen takes great video, takes great pictures if you're in a pinch. So we're bringing that and the GoPro Hero 8. I recently upgraded to this beauty of a camera and maybe fall in love with GoPro all over again. I have a little media mount on it so it has built in microphone and two spots where I could mount a light or a monitor of some sort. And I'm not bringing too many accessories for this other than what's already on it and a little tripod mount so I can hook it onto this little mini Manfrotto, which I also use with the vlog camera and my phone. This thing is just so good. I cannot say enough good things. It's, it, it's just a tripod. How cool could it be? But honestly, if you're becoming a vlogger or just want a small tripod to carry around with you on the day to day, this is it. This thing is so good. I can't say enough good things. It just feels right in your hands. Like it doesn't feel, I'm gonna stop because it's getting weird, but it's a great tripod. <laughs> you should go get one if you don't have one. Also bringing this handy dandy new dash cam. It's from Nexar. Joni B and I picked it up at Walmart and I haven't set it up yet because you have to actually be in your vehicle when you set it up, but I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be cool. It's a wide angle, 140 degrees. 1080p sensor. It's meant to face the road, but we're going to make it face us. So we're taking on the vacations. So that way, if it doesn't go as planned, we haven't ruined any necessary footage, but I think it'll be fun. So we're going to try that little buddy out. And then last but not least is the drone. This is the very small Mavic Air. I started my drone journey with one of the Phantoms, which are great absolutely amazing drones, but very intimidating. Very, very scary to fly. This guy is so small, easy to travel with, and it flies really well. It controls itself in wind very well, which is shocking with how small it is. And I've only crashed it once. 
and I have an entire video about that. So I'll link that in the iCards and down below. If you feel like watching it, I crashed onto somebody's roof. It's pretty funny. We had to buy a very expensive ladder to get it down. So this guy has been through a lot and I think that he can get some great shots of the mountains. So naturally, he's coming with us. And then other than that, I'm bringing my laptop and a book, which is pretty much it. Keeping it very simple, kind of. And I'm not gonna go through all of the toiletries I'm bringing just because it seems unnecessary. The only things I would classify as even remotely remarkable are any hair products I use. If you haven't followed us on TikTok or Instagram, then you wouldn't know that Jenny B here recently discovered that I have level 2A, 2B wavy hair. So I take care of it a lot differently than I used to, but I actually have a TikTok all about my wash day routine. So it shows you what products I use. So if you care remotely about that, I will link our TikTok in the description. You can go check that out. But other than that, it's your basic toothpaste, toothbrush, razor, deodorant, you know, the necessities. No makeup, no frills, just what I need to get the job done. Staying clean and hygienic. And that's it. It is Sunday and we leave tomorrow. That's crazy. When you're watching this, we're already back from vacation, but that's not the point. We leave tomorrow and we'll be vlogging the road trip. It's a road trip with myself, Joni B, Daddy B, and Clyde and Larry B, which are our dogs. So it's gonna be a wild ride tomorrow. Hopefully I get tons of footage that you guys can enjoy and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I promise our other videos are a lot more exciting and Joni B's in them and she's like the cooler half of our team. So you'll probably like those better, but hopefully you like this in a little bit. Give it a thumbs up if you did and uh, yeah, subscribe because it doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye. So, uh, <laughs> first things first, I think that I probably need a suitcase. So, <laughs> what? I think I probably need a suitcase. I think I probably need a suitcase. Yeah.